We're gathered here tonight on a very historical moment for the city of Northampton. Estamos aquí juntos para en un día muy histórico para la ciudad de Northampton. So I'll walk through a little bit what's going to happen tonight and kind of the process and then maybe some of the workers can tell a little bit about their stories and why they're here and at this stage. So as I think most of you know, we're here to go deliver our majority petition from the Hotel Northampton to management. Les vamos a explicar ahora un poco cuál va a ser el proceso de lo que vamos a hacer ahora. Um, y lo que vamos a hacer hoy es eh, entregar esta petición de fotos a la gerencia del Hotel North Hampton. So, a majority of the workers, a vast majority of the workers at Hotel Northampton have come together over a process of many, many, many months and have done the hard work to organize and have decided to demand a union. Y en este momento la gran mayoría de trabajadores del Hotel Northampton decidieron juntarse y uh, organizar el sindicato para ellos y vamos a entregar esa petición para el hotel. So I want to acknowledge the profound courage that has gone into this, the very hard work, the building of relationships from every department in the hotel that's reflected on the petition. We have housekeepers that have gotten and built relationships with servers, banquets, with cooks, laundry people, right? It's really been wall to wall. And I think there has always been a community at Hotel Northampton, but now there's a community that's really built on a foundation of trust and love. And it's got us to this day and it'll get us to our first contract. Queremos reconocer el trabajo tan fuerte y duro que han hecho, que han hecho muchos de los trabajadores del hotel eh, construyendo relaciones entre ellos, entre diferentes departamentos. Esta petición refleja no solo un departamento, sino la mayoría de los departamentos en el hotel. Eh, ha sido eh, un trabajo muy fuerte, no solo para ellos, eh, pero también ahora con la comunidad. So, myself, I'm, I didn't even say this, I'm Emma Ross from Unite Here, from the New England Joint Board, and I want you guys to know that the whole power of Unite Here is behind you today in the step that you're taking and in the months coming. So, thank you very much again for your courage. And I'd like to thank, we have members of the City Council here tonight, members of the community here tonight to support. I don't know if you guys are welcome to jump in and say a few words. Primero de todo, ella se quiere introducir. El nombre de ella es Emma. Ella trabaja con Unite Here, con el New England Joint Board. Um, pero tenemos muchas personas que se deben reconocer que están aquí apoyándolos, como diferentes personas de la comunidad y también de concejales de la ciudad de Northampton. Ok. Back in 2013, Northampton City Council uh, unanimously, I believe unanimously, yes. no. Uh, no, unanimously supported this resolution. So resolutions don't carry the weight of law. They're actually, they speak of the resolve of the council and the community, which is to support the right to organize, for, for people to manifest their own destinies by organizing and being able to lobby for fair and good and just pay and working conditions. And we want to do more than lip service here. Councilor O'Donnell and I, Councilor O'Donnell's from Ward 3, my name is Bill Dwight, I'm uh, City Councilor at Large and City Council President. And the other councilors will be here with me right now, except I stuck them in a very long meeting having to work out uh, trying to find an auditor, and you can pretty much guess what they'd rather be right now <laughs> instead of that. But, I, but their support remains solid and steadfast. So as you go forward, understand that you have the support of the community, the community elected government, and we wish you all the best as you negotiate this, and good luck. And I'd also like to acknowledge the organizing of uh, Jonah, so who is a leader at Hampshire College that newly organized a year ago, and who's been doing a tremendous amount of work to get us to today. So thank you both.
Queremos reconocer a, especialmente a, a Ross, que es de la directora del Centro de Comunitario de Trabajadores aquí en esta área, que han hecho mucho trabajo para a poder a lograr esto. También de reconocer a Jonah, que es un miembro del sindicato, con nosotros, que ha pasado y ha dedicado mucho tiempo de su propio tiempo para ayudarlos a organizar su sindicato. And then I'd like to invite the workers of Hotel Northampton to share with us why you're here. Y queremos algunos de ustedes que digan por qué están aquí, por qué quieren hacer esto. Um, my name is Jonathan Layton. Uh, I've been working at the hotel for 14 years, um, and I really love my job, and that's why I'm here. Uh, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I, I would like to be able to do my job um, without without the fear that I will just during the course of it um, hurt myself so much that I can't do my job anymore. Um, I would like to be able to um, survive on my own without being dependent on others. Um, and I would like to be able to do all that doing the job I love. That's why I'm here. My name's Mara. Uh, I've been working at the hotel on and off for about four years. Um, I'm here because I felt that recently workers in the hotel haven't gotten the respect that they deserve. And I think that's what we're all here fighting for is, you know, respect for our like work lives, our home lives, everything. Um, you know, there's so many problems and I think that all of this will just be so much better if we got the, the respect that we deserve. So I'm Gretchen. I've worked at the hotel for eight months. Um, I'm here because one day, after about two months there, I was like, this job sucks. Why don't you guys unionize? And then one day Jonathan said to me, he said, Harrison Ford in his factory had every worker paid enough to, oh yeah, Henry Ford, <laughs> paid enough to buy, what was it, a, a Model T, right? Yeah, yeah. And I was like, wow, so the workers were able to afford the service that they were providing. And I think that every single person at this hotel, housekeepers, cooks, maintenance, servers, deserve not only a living wage where we can scrape by, but a wage where we can take our families on vacation and come back and give our service with a smile to people who are sharing vacation with our families. Yeah. 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 I've been working at the hotel for four and a half years. I've also been in the hotel business for 30 years. And I'm exhausted. Um, it worked me like a dog. Um, so I don't know how long I keep doing it, so that's why I'm here. I need, you know, I don't need to be doing two or three jobs at a time. It's, it's very difficult. I like to try to make it to retirement without injuries. Conditions too. Mm -hmm. Not just push, 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 and no breaks. You know, the maintenance people are you on know, one break a day. So if you ever saw them sitting down, he said, Come on, get up, get up, you gotta keep going. You know, so, that's it. Thank you. My name is Jose. I've been working at the Hotel Northampton for 5 years. My name is Jose. I work at the Hotel Northampton in the kitchen for the past 5 years. I'm here today because I want to make a difference because in the Hotel Northampton, Este, trabajo un trabajo y tengo que hacer como tres trabajos en diferentes tiempos. I want a different, I want a difference in my job. I, I work in the kitchen, but I don't do only my job. I do the job with other two people as well. Y por eso estoy aquí hoy porque quiero un cambio para mí, mi familia y mis hijos porque algunas veces, bueno, well, es más difícil soportar a mi familia porque no me gano suficiente. And I'm here because I support my entire family and I cannot do this anymore this way. I need a difference. I need better pay. The plan is now that we're going to walk over to the hotel and there's a small group of workers and supporters, you will already know if we've asked you to do this, <laughs> that are actually going to go into the hotel. The rest of us will wait outside and support and are going to find a manager and deliver the petition. And then we'll wait for them to come back out and tell us how it went. And thank you again so much for your courage and for all of your support. So.
I mean, I would have liked it. I don't know what it would have said. I would have been like, bum, 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 bum. I think it's a good thing. Oh, right. That's how I felt. I mean, that's why I went to the I think you could just, you could just um, summarize it, like in the right. sentence. Oh, okay. See, Carlos do everything. Carlos do everything. Oh, yeah. We're very excited. We're very excited. We're very excited. We're very excited. Uh, so we had to report to the night manager um, who wouldn't take any paperwork or make conversation with us. Entonces tuvimos que hablar con el gerente del turno de la noche, el cual no quiso aceptar la petición, no aceptar la tarjeta del canso del concejal tampoco, ni la resolución del derecho a organizar. So, just to say this happens a lot that they hide in their offices and don't even take the petition. Wow. So they can't hide from it tomorrow morning when it gets sent by the federal government. Nice. Esto esto es algo que pasa muchas veces, no es algo fuera de lo normal. Hoy se escondieron, pero mañana no pueden hacerlo a la agencia del gobierno que les va a notificar que ustedes están organizando su sindicato. And we will be looking forward to getting an election date, probably having more actions between now and when that election happens, and then we'll be looking forward to your help as we get our first contract. So we stick together. We're a union, we're a family, we're a community, we're the city of Northampton. We have an ordinance that says we have the right to a union and to a fair process, and that's what tonight is all about. Yes. So we're all together, no one's alone. That's right. So I think we should live with a little message, and I think there's no better way. They don't want to take this, they don't want to take I the resolution. Window. So I think we should leave with a little chance that they hear us and they know who we are. Yeah, yeah. So who we are? We are the, the union. union! We are the union!